Hello, everyone. My name is Ye Fan Chen, a wireless product trainer from GTC Learning Service Department. I'm glad to be here to introduce Huawei E Not B products to everyone. Wish after this course you will get to know better about our E Not B production. Include the features and application scenarios of E Not B. And hardware logical structures of E not B components. Also, the auxiliary devices and how to do typical configuration. Our course will be divided into four chapters. The first, E not B LT system overview. The second, E not B LT system structure, which we will introduce two main components, BBU. RFU, the hardware structure and the logical structure. The third part is about auxiliary devices. Mainly are different types of cabinets be used in e not b production. And the last chapter, we will give some examples for typical configuration of e not b So now let's start from the first chapter, LTE system overview. As we know, the mobile network has been evolving for many years. From the first 2G network, GSM network, which be launched commercially in 1980s, till today's the 4G, the fourth generation network. This picture illustrated the network architecture of the fourth generation network. We can see it comprised of three parts. First is UE, the user equipment, and the second is EU chain, the radio access network part, and the third is EPC, the core network part. You can discover here the E not B is the only element inside EU chain network. It connects with UE by UU interface and connect with EPC by S1 interface. Well, compared with 2G and 3G network, here don't have RNC, BNC, BSC anymore. So the function uh, on BSC, RNC are moved to E not B, like the radio resource management, connectivity to EPC. And another different point is that E not B can interconnect with each other by this X2 interface. So they can exchange information, can so by this we can support more features. Well, this is the summary for LTE network architecture. Now let's check what the actual features our E not B production can provide to our operators. First, it has good compatibilities, can support GSM, UMTS, LTE, multi-mode simultaneously, and also can support the evolution seamlessly. The second, it has large capacity. Each E not B can support maximum 36 cells. It also presents very high throughput performance. And the E not B also designed based on environmental protection and can support easy installation and fast deployment. The E not B production can support flexible combined together with standard modules like BBU, RF unit together with various types of cabinets to be different types of E not B production. By this way, can meet various environment installation requirements for our operators. Here, this slide, we listed main E not B products. Like here, these two E not B are indoor E not B. BTS 3900, BTS 3900L. And here, these two 
a outdoor base station. Outdoor E not B BTS three nine zero zero A L and outdoor BTS three nine zero zero A. All these four E not B are composed of BBU, RFU. BBU is our baseband processing unit, and RFU is radio frequency unit. They can be installed inside cabinet. Well, in the middle, this is the distributed base station, DBS3900. Different with these other four types of E0B, it's composed of BBU and RRU. RRU is remote radio unit, normally be installed on the pole or on the tower, far away from the BBU. All these five types of e not b production, we can classify them as micro base station because they all can support large capacity. Well, corresponding to micro e not b is micro e not b. Here, the BTS 3202E, this is one type of micro e not b. It's very small, and all the models designed together in one box can support flexible installation. As we mentioned, that E not B can support flexible combination. The two main components, one is baseband unit, we call it BBU, and the second is RF unit. For baseband unit, there are totally three types of BBU products. BBU 3900, 3910, and BBU 3910A. 3900 and 3910, they have the same experience. It's one box with 2U height, normally be installed inside cabinet. While this BBU 3910A, it looks like one RRU, normally be installed on the pole or on the wall. Together with the blade RRU becomes a blade side solution. And for our RF unit, we have the first generation RFU be installed inside the cabinet. And we have this RRU, remote radio unit, be installed on the pole or on the wall. And this AAU is the newest version of RF unit. It integrated the antenna system together with RF unit. So we already mentioned that Huawei E not B production present very good performance for throughput and also capacity. For FDD mode, it can maximum support 36 cells per e not b And for the uh, downlink throughput, can reach to 150 megabits when operating on 2 plus 2 MIMO 64 QAM on the bandwidth 20 megahertz. And also the maximum UE connection can be 10,800 UE. So that's for FDD mode. While well, for TDD, it has a slightly difference on the throughput part because the TDD is using different duplex mode. So here we can see the downlink rate is 120 megahertz when operating on the same bandwidth, 20 MHz, and also 2 plus 2 MIMO technology. So that's all for this chapter's content. We introduced the features of e not b production and various product and application scenarios. Also two main models of e not b BBU, RF unit and uh, the specifications for FDD and the TDD mode. So, 
That's all for this chapter. And the next chapter, we will continue introduce the hardware structure of E0B. Thanks for your time.